And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. And also I want to give you a big shout out and happy Krypton Day because today and we're tonight is the premiere of the, the new Krypton sci-fi show, Krypton, the Superman origin movie, so, I mean TV show, sorry. I will be doing a review for that show when it comes out, I'll watch it tonight and I'll let you guys know what I thought about it tomorrow. But right now, let's talk about DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Season 3, Episode 15. I gotta say, cool episode. I really like this episode a lot. It was really creepy, but also fun at the same time. Obviously, we have Sarah Lance, you know, obviously we all know she's the captain of the team. And something happens. We all knew that she got possessed by a demon. That, you know, the big baddie that they're going to be fighting this season. And, of course, Constantine came and kind of got rid of him a little bit. We all thought he would be gone for now, and then we eventually see him again, but we didn't know when. Until tonight, until until Monday night's episode, we got to see him again, kind of. Well, apparently he used the the, the death totem to get Sarah to use it to basically have him come out and control her body, and she basically was possessed yet again by Mollus or whatever his name is, and literally Rick Cabic. By beating up everybody on the team, literally. I mean, she took out Nate. She took. I mean, she took out Wally. It was cool seeing Wally. West. It's so weird, but also kind of fun seeing Wally West, who was a Flash character on Legends of Tomorrow as a series series regular. So that's cool. So obviously, the team decided they didn't need help because she shut down basically Gillian. She shut down the whole Wave Rider. Obviously, they had to go find a way to get. Um, Constantine back, John Constantine back. Of course, the dude doesn't have a cell phone, which was pretty funny because they mentioned that. That was funny. And, of course, he comes. He tries to stop her. He does eventually. It, it was a cool episode. I really like the fact that, oh, by the way, if you didn't know, now officially we're going to be getting him as a series regular in Season 4 if it gets renewed, which I, I'm pretty sure it does. It will get renewed. Anyway, it's a good show. So, um... What else? Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, obviously the other guys had to use the other totems to try to, I guess, attempt to use those totems to take her, take her out. And, of course, there was a little heartbreak moment in this episode because Sarah breaks up with her girlfriend, if you want to call her that. At the end of it, after she gets back to normal, the the district commander of the, um, the Justice Bureau that uh, Rip used to be in charge of until, or second in command until the Gorilla Grodd killed the boss and then he died and then she became commander in chief and now Rip is now second in command. Anyway, they broke up only because Sarah was telling her, yeah, I got demons in me that, you know, I you can't fathom with it. I mean, let's face it, she was in the League of Assassins and by the way, we got to see her again in the Black Canary costume, even though it was basically an illusion and wasn't really her, but that was so cool to see that again. I was like, Oh, I miss the good old days, back when the real Black Canary was there, I like that new Dinah wannabe. Anyway, that was cool. Um, yeah, she was just telling, you know, her girlfriend, basically, yeah, like, I have demons, you know. I've been through a lot. I used to kill people. I died, came back to life. And, you know, Mollus, or whatever his name is, was right, you know. It's her, she's kind of vulnerable, and that's why I guess the demon wants to take her over, because she's kind of weak in a little bit. And she doesn't, she doubts herself too much. That's what I think. She kind of doubts herself. Even though she's been through a lot. She has all that training. She's also the ultimate killer. But she does it for, in a good way. But, um, yeah. She still has the, you know, in the back of her mind, she wishes she can bring back her sister kind of thing. But, um, yeah. Sarah Lance does have some demons to get over. But hopefully she'll get better. Hopefully by season four, she'll be a lot more clearer. And more badass than she is now. Because she is a badass. And she's better than everybody. Especially any of those Black Canaries in the, the other show we all know and love. But, um, yeah. Like I said, I thought it was a cool episode. I really liked it. it great seeing Wally actually be on the team. And, of course, seeing John Constantine once again. Because he's just a cool character. I really hope if, you know, we get season four, he's a part of the show more. Even though he is. So, so that's going to be great to see him be the new... The, the, I want to say the leader, but then I think Sarah's not going to let him take over, even though they did sleep together, but still, I think she'll still be in charge of the team. And, yeah, it was cool. I really liked this episode. Next week's episode, 
That's going to be a very strange episode, but let's see what happens anyway. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode and what do you think is going to happen with Sarah now? you think the bat, the demon is going to continue going after her or he's done completely? Do you think she's going to control a totem? Because they were talking about how, yeah, if they can control a totem, maybe they can become the new wearers of the, of the, the power. Maybe she'll get fire because, you know, Ray was trying to fix the, the fire totem, so... Hopefully he does fix that and maybe she can use that. I mean, they do have the Earth Totem. They need to get Amira's Totem back, but they will. They will. And, um, yeah, like I said, let's see what happens next week's episode. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. And stay tuned for more. And thank you very much and have a good day.